Lena, I didn't fight the will because of money. I was angry. I felt shut out. You were angry. You accused me of manipulating Dad, that I turned him against you. Do you want to create eye-catching 3D animated conversational videos, post them on your faceless YouTube channel, and start making money all without showing your face or learning complex software? This entire dialogue scene was made with AI, and I will show you exactly how to do it. I will teach you how to use AI tools to create realistic dialogue scenes for faceless story videos. These are perfect for storytelling, drama, or moral tales on YouTube. No animation skills or studio setup needed just your imagination and a few smart tools. I encourage you to watch this entire video without skipping any part because you might just skip the most important details needed for you to create a successful video. We're going to create this video in seven easy steps. Step number one is writing a simple conversational story. Start with a short story or scenario that includes clear back and forth dialogue. You can use ChatGPT to help you write a realistic conversation between two or more characters. Characters. Keep the lines natural, emotional, and easy to follow. This will be the foundation of your scene. I came to ChatGPT and I asked it to write a realistic conversation between two or more characters, keeping the lines natural, emotional, and easy to follow, and starting with a strong story idea. And ChatGPT went ahead to give me a story idea of a brother and a sister once close, haven't spoken in nearly two years, after a major falling out over their late father's will. Now they are forced to meet at their childhood home to pack it up before it's sold. Tension, regret, and buried love resurfaces in the quiet of shared memories. From there, it went further to provide me with the character's name and the dialogue for our characters. From there, I went further to ask it to make simple descriptions of the two characters so that I can generate their images using OpenAI. ChatGPT went ahead to provide me with the full details of our first character who is Lena and our second character who is Marcus. From there, I went ahead to ask it to make it in a sentence description and it provided me with these two details. You can use the exact prompts that I used to create your own story ideas. Now that we have the story, this takes us to step number two where we need to design characters and the tool that we're going to use is OpenArt AI. I know some of you might be thinking, but OpenArt is a paid tool and yes, it is, but compared to hiring animators which cost thousands or lemming complex 3D software, it's actually really affordable. You can only pay for what you use and in return you get fast high quality results that are perfect for YouTube storytelling and making videos that stands out. Now when generating your characters, be specific but make them very simple. Include aspects like the age, clothing, mood and facial expression. This ensures your character looks consistent across multiple shots. Designing characters that feel distinct helps your audience follow who's talking. Here on OpenArt AI, select characters, select start with description, input your character's name, input your character's description, select your character's style, and click on preview. From the three previewed images, select one of your choice. If you do not like the images generated for you, you can still click on regenerate. From the generated characters, select one and click on create characters. From there, repeat the same process for all your characters. Go back, select start with description, input the name of your second character, input the description of your character, select the style of your character, and click on create previews. Select the character of your choice and click on create, and your characters will be found down here under my characters. Once we create our characters, this takes us to step number three where we need to generate key scenes images. We will use OpenArt itself to generate these scenes. Now create full scene images that show your characters interacting. Pose them in different angles, facing each other, reacting, or showing emotion. Think of each image as a visual snapshot of the conversation. And one thing that we must keep in mind is almost 90% of the images that we are going to generate must be generated on a green background, which makes the next step easier for us. To create our images, come to create image. Here where it's says model or characters, select switch, come to my characters and select the first character of your choice. I will select this character which I already generated. Once selected, click on prompt and reference. You'll see this prompt box open. Now, 
the videos we are creating are about conversations of two or more characters. So what we're going to do is we'll click on the add button so that we can add a second character in the prompt box so that we can generate images of our two characters having a conversation. So I'll add this character, which I also generated in the previous tutorial that I showed you. As you can see, we have our two characters written down in the prompt box. We can also see them here. Now, we'll paste in a simple prompt. And this prompt says our male character and our female character are having a conversation, an emotional serious kind of a conversation where both faces are lost. From there, we scroll down a little bit and click on create. Our images are ready. As you can see, most of our images, our characters are standing. So you can specify the position of your characters depending with what you are creating. If you do not like the generated images you can still click on regenerate and open art will generate the images for you now to generate images of a single character what you just have to do is close one character from the character tab and you only remain with one character in the prompt box from there what you want to do is describe what the character is doing and hit create to save our images into our pc we just have to click on this download button here or click on downloaders and select jpeg or png in the type of videos i'm showing you per scene you only need one image of your characters so what we want to do is download this image into our pc once your image is downloaded upload it to canva from there increase its size like this from there go to elements bring in a frame increase its size and hide one of your characters change the color of your frame to green once that is done come to share and download your image like that from there grab the frame and place it on your second image position your image properly come to share and save your image into your pc once the step number three of generating image scene is done this takes us to step number four where we need to record and assign voices we're going to use 11 labs you can record your dialogue script and upload it to 11 lab assign unique voices to each character adjusting tones and emotion this brings your character to life and makes the conversation feel real and natural here on 11 labs we can select text to speech copy the first line of your first character come back to 11 labs and paste it there from there come to voices select a voice of your choice and from there click on generate lena i didn't fight the will because of money i was angry i felt shut out and if you're happy with the way it sounds you can click on download and the first line for your first character will be saved in your pc but i highly recommend you record the dialogue script with your own voice come to 11 labs choose a voice changer upload the first line you recorded of your first character once uploaded select a voice that will match your character and from there click on generate this process makes your voice have that personal touch and connection with the audience it adds in those human emotions and tone bringing your characters to life and making the conversation feel more real you can even clone your own voice either way you have the options to choose from once you are done with your first character repeat the same process for your second character let's go back to chat copy the first line of your second character come back to 11 labs delete the line which is there and paste in the one you've copied come to voices select a voice of your choice and click on generate you were angry you accused me of manipulating dad that i turned him against you if you're happy with the way it sounds just hit download and it will be saved in your pc once we are done we go to the next step step number five is animating character motions animate characters movement to match the dialogue scene here we need to use stable gestures like nodding turning and facial expression all this is to show emotions this pretty much makes the conversation more dynamic and visually engaging. Even just small movements kept viewers immense. Go back to open at AI, close this tab, come to videos. Here what you want to do is upload your image, ensure that image to video is selected, select a model you would love they also have cling 2.0 one thing you must keep in mind is that cling and vo2 consumes a lot of credit i'll leave it to cling 1.6 i'll upload the first image we've created 
of our character talking. Here, drag and drop the image you want to turn into a video. I'll upload this image of our male character just standing. Scroll down a little bit and paste in a prompt that describes what your character is doing. I'll say my character is talking in a very serious and upset tone. I'm using these prompts based on the story that I have. Yours might be different from there. Scroll down a little bit. Leave the creativity level to 0.5. Choose the duration of your video. I'll leave it at 5 seconds. Then the quality mode, I'll select Pro or that better high quality. Then when I scroll down a little bit, you'll see the negative prompt here. Just add in a couple of negative prompts. Simple prompts like muffing, AI hands, distortion, weird movements. From there, we just hit create. From here, we can delete this image, upload a second image of our second character, leave these prompts just like the way they are, and the settings just like the way they are, and click on create. And this will be our generated video of our character talking. Seems to be upset doesn't he? If you've reached this far, consider subscribing to our channel because more value awaits you. So what I'll do is download it into my PC so that it can be saved. Some applies with the second video. This is high quality production, I think. Now that we have our audio files, our animated character motions of the first scene, let's lip sync each character with its audio. Now, one thing I want you to pay extra attention to is how we're going to lip sync this. We have two characters in one scene. What we need is when one character is talking, the other character is just listening. And when that other character is talking, the other character also listens. So this is what we're going to do. I'll open Premiere Pro and I'll import two audio files. One is the first line of our first character and the other one is a first line of our second character. So the second one is like a response back to what the first character said. Use a software that you are more familiar and comfortable with. I would drag my first audio file of my first character to the timeline like this. Let me zoom it out a little bit. Drag this like that. Let me play it for you to see the way it sounds. Lena, I didn't fight the will because of money. I was angry. I felt shut out. So this is where it ends from. So what I would do is would bring in the response of our second character like that. So immediately after the first character finishes talking, we want our character to respond. Now, this entire time of our first character responding, we want our character to be quiet. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this first line of our first character and we're going to remain with just an empty space. This entire response is about five seconds. But because of this space, it will be 10 seconds long, as you can see from the time here. So we're going to save this audio file, meaning it will have this silent part because we do not want our character to be talking as our first character will be responding. So what we're going to do is we will come to share and we'll click on export media, come to format, select MP3, give a name to your file. I'll say female second audio and click on save, choose entire sequence and click on export. Now, for the first character, it is different. This is what we're going to do. So you can use this sub method even for the second scene. As one character is talking, you want to create room for that character to finish before the other character responds. We'll minimize this tab. We'll come to Dreamfest AI. For this is the tool that we're going to use to lip sync our characters. We'll come to AI tools and we'll click on video lip sync. From there, we click on Welcome to Dreamface. Generating Azata VD. So here what we're going to do is we'll click on video or photo. Then we're going to upload the first video we've generated from OpenArt AI so that we can lip sync it with the audio. Select the video file of our male character. Once the video file is uploaded, select it. Once selected, come to audio, click on upload audio and upload the first line audio file of your character. Once uploaded, scroll down and click on generate. Once generated, this is the way to loop. Lena, I didn't fight the will because of money. I was angry. I felt shut out. Okay, oh, this is just so amazing. I know there's some muffing here and there on the lips, but this is just so beautiful. This is something that we can work with. Amazing. So to save it into our PC, just click on the download icon like that. Now, when we observe carefully, this is the end frame of our first character talking. So what we need to do is we need to add another frame of our character starting from this frame, just the standing and listening to what the other character will be saying. To achieve that, what we need to do is come to video frame extractor and upload our video we've just downloaded from Dreamface of our male character. 
So what we're going to do is we'll scroll down and we'll click on extract because it's five seconds and it's on the final, finest stage of our video. It will just extract about one or two images. Okay, so this is our image. What we want to do is download it into our PC. Once downloaded, we'll open, open at once again, close this tab, we'll delete this image and we'll upload the image we've just downloaded. Then here, what we're going to say is our character is just standing and listening. Then we'll scroll down a little bit, leave the settings just like the way they are and click on create and this is our character just quiet and listening to what the other character is saying so what we're going to do is set this video into our pc then we go back to dreamfest ai we upload the next video of our second character once uploaded delete this audio file and upload the next audio file the one we had generated which has got some silence after a few seconds our character begins talking once uploaded as you can see there is just silence throughout until at this position that's when our character will begin talking so scroll down and i'll click on generate and once it's generated, what we want to do is download it into our PC like that. From there, you can repeat the same process of lip syncing your video files with your audio files. Once we are done, the next step is editing and arranging the scenes in CapCut. Once the video files are uploaded and the background image, I generated this in Design AI. Start by dragging the background image on the timeline. Once it is dragged, bring the first line of your first character to the scene. Okay, that's just so perfect. I'll increase the duration of my background image up to that much. After that, I'll grab the continuation video file that we generated of our character just silent. Then from here, what we want to do is to remove the green background. Select our video file like that. Then I'll come to remove background here. We'll select chroma key. We're going to drag our pen to, to the part where we'd love to remove the green background like that. We repeat the same process for the first video file. Select chroma key then remove the background like that. I know you can still see some green lines around our subject. What we're going to do is increase the intensity a little bit up to that much. Then we scroll down a little bit and click on clean up edges and we'll see the green lines disappear. That's just so perfect. Go to the next part. We repeat the same process. Increase the intensity. Increase clean up edges. Once that is done, what you want to do is drag up the video file of a character who has to respond on top like that. While the image is still selected, come to remove background, select chroma key and remove the green background. Increase the intensity and cleaning up the edges. Perfect. From there, align them correctly so that they do not collide as they will be talking. From there, let me play it for you to see the way it looks. Lena, I didn't fight the will because of money. I was angry. I felt shut out. You were angry. You accuse me of manipulating dad, that I turned him against you. Okay, that's just so amazing. Give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. From there, we repeat the same process that I've just shown you to create more dialogue and scenes. In case you would want your characters to do other things at once together, maybe embracing each other or holding each other's hands as they are reconciling. Depending with the video that you have, what you can simply do is go to the last frame of your video, click on these three lines on top of your video video and click on export still frames from there give a name to your frame and export it once exported come back to open up ai come to videos upload that image here once uploaded describe what they are doing in our case it's hugging each other after reconciling once generated just drag it here and you'll have something like this turned him against you a warm hug of reconciliation let me show you how the entire video i created looks lena I didn't fight the will because of money. I was angry. I felt shut out. You were angry. You accused me of manipulating dad, that I turned him against you. I didn't mean it. I was grieving and you shut down. You always do that. I needed you. I needed you too, but I didn't know how to carry all of it. Dad dying, the decisions, the pressure. I thought you hated me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have a video suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. From here, God bless you. If you've already started a YouTube channel, thumbs up. I would love to see you make such kind of a video and upload on a YouTube channel. From here, God bless you. Thank you.